Hey guys, Jay Shuffle Bolson here. I got a story for you. Uh, it's not a poop story, but it is a pretty interesting tale. The hockey game from hell. But growing up in my teenage years, I played a lot of hockey with my best friend, Steve Durazzo, who uh, got me into it. And uh, we uh, played a lot of hockey. And I was 18 years old, and we were in this adult league. Um, and it was in a bad part of town. Bad area, but uh, more to that later. <clears throat> so we had a pretty decent team, and we ended up making the finals against this team that was just really, really good. Um, it's it's the final game, and we're on our way to to the rink. And on our way, we get passed by. Uh, an ambulance, a fire truck, cop cars, all that shit. Uh, they pass us on this on the road, and we get to the rink, and all that shit is there. The the ambulance, the fire truck, the ambulance, the, the paramedics, everybody's there at the rink. And uh, we just thought it's probably just like another stabbing or something because it's a uh, bad part of town. <clears throat> and uh, one of the other guys on our team came over to us when we when we got there. And uh, he said, oh my God, did you guys hear what happened? And we're like, no, we just got here. What, what the fuck? You know, and this is before cell phones and shit. And he said, uh, he said that he was in his, his car with our goalie. You know, they got there early and there was, they were smoking, smoking weed in the car and shit. And apparently the goalie, uh, his girlfriend left him, uh, I don't know if she's cheating on him or what, but apparently this guy was really upset about it. And this is our goalie. <clears throat> and he starts crying. This uh, Our teammate said. He said he starts crying in the car. He's really upset and he's freaking out. And he pulled out a knife. And he said, life sucks, man. And he slit his wrist in my fucking car. And I'm like, holy shit. So our goalie slit his fucking wrist like a, a, an hour before our final game. And I'm just blown away by this. I'm like, oh my God, I hope he's okay. So we're, we're in the parking lot there and we see him getting loaded on a stretch. He's on a stretcher and he's getting loaded into the ambulance. And Steve fucking, Steve Drazo yells out, you fucking asshole. You could have waited till after the game. <laughs> and as he's getting loaded, they're about to shut the door. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, you guys. And boom. Doors shut. He gets uh, taken off to the hospital. Uh, he didn't die. They saved him. I later found out. But here we are. Coach shows up. He's fucking pissed. It, it <laughs> He's like, we don't have a backup goalie. What do we do? Guys, the, the, you know, we're in the locker room. We, You know, we're at the rink. He said, like, do you guys have any suggestions? Does anybody want to get, get in the net? They're like, does anybody have pads? And uh, somebody, I don't remember who it was on the team, he said, I have an idea. Because we, <laughs> we didn't have any. And the coach said, okay, so what's your idea? And this guy said, well, we could call uh, so-and-so. And I forget this guy's name because, fuck, I was 18 when, you know, and I'm like 47 now or whatever. It's fucking like forever ago. And uh, he mentioned this guy's name, who is a goalie. But he didn't play in the league. He only played pickup. Nobody wanted him on their team because he had a glass eye. So if he just so much as wrist shot half ass on his glove side, he just starts swatting in the air hoping to fucking grab something. And we're like, oh my God. We didn't have any other options. So we get on the payphone and we call this guy. And uh, we're like, uh, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I was gonna come watch you watch you guys play. It's the final game. I wanted to see uh, see how see who wins, you know, because a lot of people were showing up, and we're like, yeah, well, uh, bring your pads. We want to uh, put you in the net. Are you shitting me? Like this guy was so happy because nobody ever wanted him on on their team, and now he's in the finals in this league. He's like, fuck yeah, I'll be right there. So he shows up, and everybody's just putting their skates on, their wrist tape and shit, and and everything and and everybody's just doom and gloom just fucking just bummed out 
But this guy was the happiest guy in the fucking locker room. He's all, oh, this is going to be great. We're going to have such a great game. And we're like, oh, my God. Coach is looking at him and just shaking his head. And he looks at me and Durazo and some of the other guys. And he said, he said, uh, he put me on right wing when the game started. And anyway, I'll get back. At that. I'll, I'll talk more about that in a sec. But he said, he said to the guys on defense, he said, I want you to take the shots. If somebody takes a slap shot, get in the fucking way. I don't care if it breaks your ribs or whatever. Stop any puck that gets anywhere near him. If anybody gets into the crease, I want you to kill him. I don't care if you get a penalty. I don't want anybody near the goalie. <laughs> so, game starts, and it's really fucking physical. There were a couple fights. Uh, it was a very intense game, and believe it or not, our defense was incredible. We uh, we tried to keep shots on, on goal to a minimum, and we did that. We did well, and it was tied up, I think, 3-3 three to three in the final period. And we tried so freaking hard to uh, to score, but we didn't. So the game went into overtime. And um, uh, the coach changed the lineup, and he put me on defense. And he said, same thing, Jay. He said, you're doing all right on wing, but I want you, I want you on defense and just freaking just clear out that crease. Don't get anybody near them. Don't let anybody take shots on them. If anybody has to take a shot, make sure they're doing it near the board so they get a bad angle, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right. So I'm out there, and uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's the most intense fucking period I've ever played in hockey. And I'm, I'm trying to clear out this guy. From, uh, from the crease and he swings his stick around and to m try and get around me and he ended up high sticking me and it chipped my tooth busted my lip uh, I also ended up uh, my eye getting busted open a little bit above my forehead um, that was from a different high stick that never got called but the ref saw this blew the whistle on the guy for high sticking and uh, so that guy got sent to the box so now we're, uh, we have the power play. And if you don't know what that is, if you're not familiar with hockey, that means that their team has one less guy on the ice. So we have more uh, more people on our team on the ice, to, to more attackers. And um, we ended up fucking winning that game. We scored and we won. And uh, my lip is busted open and bleeding. And my my tooth is chipped. I'm fucking, I'm, I can't believe it. I'm so fucking happy. And let me tell you guys, because... It's a big deal to me because I'd never won a trophy in my life at anything. So this was a big moment for me. Um, in junior high school, I, uh, I was on the wrestling team. And I made it to the finals. And unfortunately that day, I had the stomach flu really bad. And my mom and dad told me, you're not fucking going to school today. You already threw up twice. You, you look green. You're not going anywhere. And I said, I have to go because I, my match is today. And they said, no. We're calling the school. You're not going. I'm like, fuck. The one time I wanted to go to school, I couldn't. Um, and I knew I could have beat that kid too. In my weight class, I, I could have beat him. Um, so I waited for my parents to go to work. And I hopped on my bike and I rode it like five, six miles to school. I threw up in somebody's bushes along the way. I get to school get, and I get to uh, to the lockers. I put on my singlet and uh, everybody was like, what the fuck are you doing here? You're, you know, you're, you're sick. You know, they, the teacher said you're sick. I said, I am sick. I feel like shit. And the reason why I went is I knew I couldn't beat him sick, as sick as I was. But I didn't want to get fourth place because the, the third and fourth, whoever won that, that match before us for third and fourth place or the third place winner would have ended up taking my spot and ended up getting second. And then I'd end up getting third or fourth or whatever. That's how that bracket thing worked uh, I, for that thing. So I, I wasn't going to take third or fourth. And um so I get out on the mat and I'm fucking sweating. I'm shaking. I feel like shit. And this guy, Todd Allison, she's looking at me. He's like, dude, you look bad. And I said, just make this quick. 
Uh, they blew the whistle. We locked up. He rolled me up, pinned me. I got up, opened up the door to the outside of the gym. I puked, uh, changed my clothes, rode my bike back home. So I could have won that day had I not gotten sick and I would have got a trophy, but I didn't. Then I get into high school. I made the varsity wrestling team. But I got thrown off the team for bad grades. And I had really, really bad grades. And uh, the wrestling coach hated my guts because I just, I couldn't focus in school. I got bad grades. I wasn't doing well. And I'll never forget that fucking prick. When he, to when he kicked me off the team, he told me why. He said, you just, he said, you got bad grades. You know, you're not doing well, blah, blah, blah. And he was a real dick about it. And I said, all right. And I started to walk away and he said, hey, Jay. And I turned around and he said, you're a loser. You're not going to amount to anything in life. I quit school that day. I dropped out. So fast forward to the locker room. You know, we're celebrating. We're really happy. I'm like, fuck. I'm finally a winner. I'm finally going to get a trophy. And uh, the old man that owned the rink came in and congr he had a, he's always smoking cigars. And uh, he's like, oh, congratulations, guys. Oh, what a game. Holy shit. That was incredible. Blah, blah, blah. Congratulating us and stuff. And I, my lips bleeding down my jersey and shit. I look like one of the handsome brothers from Slapshot. And I said, uh, when do we get our trophies? He's all, huh? Tr trophies? I'm like, yeah. When, when, when do we get a? When do we get our trophies? He's like, there wasn't enough money in the budget for trophies, guys. Sorry. I'm like, well, what about our our dude, our fees that we pay to play in the league? He's all, yeah, that's for playing. That, does, that doesn't mean you guys get a trophy. But uh, congratulations, guys. Good game. I'll see you later. And then he fucking went to the bar, and I just fucking was devastated. We just played the most intense game ever in our lives with a half blind goalie. And this fucking cheap prick won't buy us trophies. And Steve Durazzo fucking, he saw the look on my face and everything. And then I remembered my fucking wrestling coach telling me I'm a loser and I'm never winning anything. That fucking, that, that got me. So I went home, butterfly up my lip, got cleaned up and shit, got my tooth fixed. And then I, I pretty much quit hockey at that point. Fast forward to uh, a couple years ago. I get a package in the mail a couple days before Christmas. And it's from uh, Steve Durazzo. So I just left it under the tree. I'm like, oh, I'll just, I'm, I'm, you know, he, he texted me. He said, hey, I sent you a Christmas present. Don't open it until Christmas. I said, all right. And I hadn't talked to the guy in fucking forever, you know. And uh, I was thinking, what the hell is this? Open it up. And guys, look what he got me. Look at this. Let me put it right here. Bruins League Champions 1992. <laughs> so yeah I finally fucking uh, got a trophy and to that fucking cunt wrestling coach I hope you uh, hope you're watching this because <laughs> I ended up being a stuntman a pro wrestler a, a jouster and I got to travel around the world and uh, uh, had some crazy experiences and uh, amazing stories and here I am on YouTube and uh, I don't know what you're doing right now but you can go fuck yourself <laughs> Alright guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Check out my uh, links down below. I play Twitch, games on Twitch, and chat and hang out with you guys. And then check out the other stuff I got down there. And uh, again, really appreciate you. Love you. High fives and boners, and I will talk to you guys later.